Let's introduce the teams in today's Light vs. Dark match. The Light team features Beam Claws, Fairy Orbitars, and a Twin Bellows Cannon. And the opposing Dark team comes with an Insight Staff, Black Club, and Bowl Arm. Okay, there's our mystery bonus. And ready? Go! From the get-go, we see a Mega Laser power activated. Both teams are now on the move. Notice the square cursor displayed on enemies? That indicates an enemy is within firing range. Here we see Black Club riding grind rails and firing giant steel balls. Both are unique to this map. It looks like Beam Claws is trying to get in close on the bowl arm. These particular Beam Claws have paralysis properties. And the Black Club has been turned to stone but he takes advantage of the chaos and defeats Beam Claws. When you're defeated, the team's health diminishes according to the value of your weapon. Activating super speed, Fairy Orbitars quickly advances on the opponent. Bolarm has respawned and is making his way up to the central island. Twin Bellows Cannon sees an opportunity to attack. We see him knock his opponent off the edge with authority for an easy defeat. With their team health depleted, the Dark Team is now slightly behind. But Bolarm has returned for revenge, bringing the two teams even. Here we see the Insight Staff on the run. Beam Claws takes note and pursues. Beam Claws can't find him, and there he goes. He's left the scene. It is definitely in the Insight Staff's best interest to get distance on opponents. But Beam Claws takes advantage of excellent foot speed to close the gap. An opponent on a grind rail is an easy target. When your team's health is exhausted, your team Angel appears. The team who defeats the opponent's Angel wins. Beam Claws has been inflicted with darkness. He's temporarily blinded. He's activated a super speed power to escape the darkness. Now the Insight Staff uses playing dead. He escapes the scene invisible, having pretended to die. Meanwhile, Fairy Orbitars is on the receiving end of a lethal melee combo. This brings the team health to zero, which means Fairy Orbitars will appear as Pit. Notice that the team health bar is replaced by the Angel's health bar. He's in good position now to use an explosive flame power. Engulfed in flames, Bolarm is robbed of his health, defeated, and will now become Dark Pit. Both teams' angels are on the playing field. Pit has been poisoned. Both teams are trying to protect their own angel while defeating the opponents. Here we see the Insight Staff zoomed in for a sniping opportunity. He's looking for Pit and lands a shot. Dark Pit is taking damage from a Fierce Claw combo, but a Black Club shot saves him. If you're an Angel, your health will decrease slightly when your teammates are defeated. The Flames have worked down Pit's health to dangerous levels. He's barely hanging on. Meanwhile, Dark Pit is hiding on the central island. 
but here comes Bean Claws. Bean Claws turns a slash into a brutal combo. Dark Pit has been knocked off the edge. The white team wins, courtesy of a fine finishing combo from Bean Claws. Bean Claws is awarded with a mystery bonus, a virus power. And a burst blade is awarded as well. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. So, kid, you think you have what it takes to be a ranger? I've seen how you roll. You got guts. But well, you're gonna need more than that to beat them. See, the Grocks are coming. They're rock monsters rising out of the earth, eating our livestock. But right now, while there's light, 
you've got work to do. For instance, feeding the scrawls. That's our livestock, the lifeblood of the village. If they all get eaten, it's game over. So gather some scruffles and fatten the herd. Oh yeah, dig up some ore to use for fortifying our village gates. That makes the town folk feel more secure and helps protect the scrogs too. Speaking of protection, you also want to strengthen our defenses. Build some towers and outfit them with guns. Try not to leave too many gaps. Dusk is coming, partner. That's when the grocs come. It's time to lock and load and get ready to roll. No one said being a ranger would be easy. So, you're ready to try defending a village against a grok raid? Well, gather round and listen up. First off, groks are none too bright. They got rocks in their heads. What I mean is, they're predictable. They attack each village for three days. Each attack wave is stronger than the last. Watch what they do in the first attack to get some ideas about their favorite trails. Set up defenses there to bushwhack them. Now to a greenhorn, the desert may look all flat and dusty, but a true ranger knows there's useful stuff to be found out among the rocks and cacti. Grab all the scruffles you can and turn them into the village mayor to build up the herd of scrogs. Also, breaking boulders as you roll might turn up some spare change. Then there's the mines. Make sure you visit each one every day and claim all the minerals inside. You can use them to build the defense gates. Once the grocs start stampeding, you won't be able to be everywhere at once. Gatling guns and cannons are great for covering the approaches to the village. If you can, choose weapons that create a crossfire on the trails the grocs like. That will whittle them down to pebbles in no time flat. When dust falls and the grocs come, you can let the gun towers do some of the work, but you'll need to fill in the gaps in the defenses with your own fighting skill. When battling, you can build up the strength of your dash attack. Slide the stylus back and watch it charge. You can defeat grocs quicker with claw attacks, but they'll drop fewer rewards that way. Balance your need for speed with your need for loot. You'll have to use every trick at your disposal to defeat the Groks. As you visit more villages, you'll gain rewards from the village leaders that will give you new abilities. For example, you'll be able to grind enemies by touching and holding on the touchscreen. As you gain more abilities, you'll even be able to burrow underneath the dirt and attack the Groks from below. Well, that's about all I can teach you for now. The rest is up to you. Just remember, the Ranger's Creed. Practice makes perfect. Now get ready to roll. <laughs> 